This is the story on how I beat the world record bench press. <laughs> So today is going to be day one of training for my world championship powerlifting meet and I'm going to be testing my one rep max on bench press. I haven't really trained bench press seriously since my last powerlifting meet which was like six months ago. So I'm going to be shooting for like 275. But before that, can't forget the most important part of powerlifting, the onesies. Let's get into it. Okay guys, that was a new PR. We're off to a great start. I have 160 days to get that up 25 pounds. See you later. So yeah, I did what I needed to do to get my bench up and that was to bench. Hey guys, so we're about four months away from the competition. It's May 25th right now, and we recently hit a 300 pound bench PR. It's not a pause bench, so it doesn't really count, but it's only been like 16 days since we hit our last PR, which was 285. So I'm really happy about that. But let me remind you, the world record right now is 303. So I'm only like three pounds away if I can pause bench 300. Pretty happy about that. I am debating whether to go up a weight class though, because I'm already like at the very peak. I'm not sure if that's a risk I can take though. So I'll just keep working out. I'll see what my weight looks like. I'm also thinking about hopping on creatine, which is also gonna affect my weight. I'm not sure. Well, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Yeah, so I got my bench PR up 20 pounds in a single month. Everything was looking great. But summer was just around the corner and I would be visiting colleges, visiting family, and just traveling, which kind of made me forget about my powerlifting meet. But fear not. I still kept hitting my PRs. And I finally did it. I hit every Jim Bro's dream. 315 bench press. After hitting 315, I also tried to hit 325. And that kind of gave me a chest injury, and that's when things started to go downhill. 
Hey guys, so a quick update. It's September 7th, so we're not too far away from the comp. And I was just training and I tried my one rep pause PR I was going for it today. And I failed 295. And the record is, the record is um 303. So it's gonna be really close. I don't know what happened. Like I was hitting 315. I guess it was not pause, but I thought I could at least hit 300 pause. We're cutting it real close. It really sucks actually. I was, I was really sad about that. We're gonna have to really put in the work the next couple weeks. I dropped down to 149, which is around a t like a six pound decrease in like a week or a week or two. Might be a little fast, but I'd rather just get down and do it now. Okay, really gotta try for the next couple. All training is going to bench. We got it, fighting. Ah. Because I was cutting it so close, I decided to contact the 11 time IPF world powerlifting champion, getting 65 world records. Jen Thompson. You are the 11 time IPF world record holder and have the world record in bench, right? For 145.5 kg, which is so big. Like, that's so heavy. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's actually it's the eleven time world champion, which is awesome. Oh. I have four uh, titles in the um, powerlifting, and then seven in the bench only. So, That's but then amazing. I think um, oh I broke the world record last night, and I think it was like I don't know the sixty fifth time I broke the world record or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's a yeah. perfect person to ask. Well, I, well, I love to share my knowledge with people. I feel like I've been in this for so long. Um, I love seeing people make huge gains. And um, if I can do anything to um, help people with that, it just makes me feel good. And I feel like it helps grow our sport and bring more, more popularity to our sport as our athletes are um, getting more successful. So I like being a part of that. Oh, that's so nice. After going back and forth with Jen, I had a game plan. And all I had to do now was stay focused, follow through, and hopefully, get stronger. Okay, so we are three days away from the powerlifting meet. This is gonna be my last bench day. I'm gonna do more of a power, power day today. So, yeah, okay. Was it your milky eyes or your skin? I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this, but like, push-ups are actually the meta to warming up for bench. Like, if I, if I go, ever go heavy on bench press, I always like do push-ups before. And I think that's like one of the best workouts, uh, best warm-ups for sure. Okay, so this is top set. I think I'll aim for three here. Maybe four. We'll see. But I don't want to go too heavy or risk any injury. But I do want to get a little stronger because we did fail 305. So it's going to be really clutch. So I have to get stronger for this workout. So we'll see, three or four. Definitely not to failure. Okay, I did four reps. I was planning to do three, so W. That's good. That means that means I'm feeling strong today. Okay, I think now I'm gonna back off and I'll probably go 255 for five, then 245 five, and then just practice my form with 225. Then calm. Ooh, I'll have a two-day break, give my chest muscles time to recover, and then I'll be at the calm. I'll see you. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, hello, hello. Okay. So, it's a day before our flight. It is Wednesday, the 27th. And a couple things happened. Remember my last bench day? But I don't want to go too heavy or risk any injury. Risk any injury? I somehow injured my wrist. So it hurts whenever I go back or when I twist it. Um, so that's not good. Right before the meet too. Worst comes to worst, I'm just gonna push through the pain, which you should not, like you should definitely, like if this happens to you, definitely go get your kid checked out. But like, it's too close now. I'd rather push through that pain. 
So that's one thing that's happened. And also, that's what my dinner's looking like. One orange and a protein shake. I'm weighing at 148.5. Like, so I really have to cut weight. I'm 0.5 pounds over and I am weighing in tomorrow night. Also, I found out that I'm doing, since I'm doing the single lift bench press, that the records are different, which is totally weird. Like, I would think that the total power, like, bench press would be the same as a single lift bench press, but the single lift bench press is only 275. And we have that in the bag, right? So, I think we're gonna be fine there. But for my ego and for my will, I wanna hit 305 so I can beat the total one as well because how can the single lift bench press record be lower than the total lift you know I feel like that just doesn't sit right we're gonna take we're gonna take it though even if we don't get the total it's gonna be really it's gonna be a fight it's gonna be really close it's kind of exciting but yeah I'm gonna enjoy my amazing dinner so good i love i love oranges and i love protein shakes i'll see you guys tomorrow when i leave to las vegas okay guys so it is the day i'm flying out to las vegas and we're just gonna do a quick weight update and a physique check i feel like i've never been this lean like i don't know if you guys can tell but like i have like no fat dude i'm like trying to pull it down but there's nothing to pull down Ooh, ooh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm feeling extra lean. Okay, uh, let's go measure my weight. One second. All right, guys. So we are weighing in at 146. It went away, but 146 is a perfect weight. I think that's gonna be. I can eat a little bit of lunch, you know. Try to cut down my water weight, and we'll be set to go. I'm gonna have a big dinner, so. All is good. Okay, we landed in Las Vegas and now we're in the hotel. We're gonna go do our weigh-ins and then I'm gonna go eat. I have like not eaten anything or drink water today, so I'm excited. I think we're eating barbecue, so. Pretty sure that's where I'm gonna be doing the powerlifting. This is the full venue. That's gonna be me tomorrow. Okay, so we just got done with the weigh-ins. I got myself some water with some Propel to get my electrolytes. That's what Jen Thompson, the world record bench holder, told me to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. Also have a little snack before we go eat, which is nice. So, I'm just gonna drink it. I haven't had water or food for like the past like 12 or like, no, for the past like 20 hours. So, it's very nice to actually get to eat something and drink something and eat a bunch. I'm gonna get my weight back to like 150. Oh, also I weighed in at 147.3. So we had 0.7 pounds to spare. We're at the very tippity top of the weight class. The venue didn't look as cool as I wanted it to, but we'll take it. Today's the day. It's morning. I think it's like 707 right now. We're gonna go get some uh, breakfast. Oh, we got the fit. Look at that. Forgive the bed head, by the way. It's like I sometimes like look like Goku after I wake up. But okay, I'm gonna go take a shower, get ready. We're gonna get breakfast, and then we're gonna go to the comp. Okay, so the audio cut out, but basically this was my fit, and we we're about to go. Okay, so my mic kind of died during a lot of the powerlifting meet. But basically, after warming up, it was my first attempt. Matching the current world record of 
1.6 pounds for the AAU single power bench. Come on, Nick. I matched the world record and what they're basically doing in that video is checking me to see if I have any equipment on because it is a world record and it has to be fair and square you know so that's they give me a little check and I'm off for my second attempt going for 292 then hopefully going for 305 on my final attempt I failed a 292 pound bench, something that I thought could never happen. It was my second attempt and I thought I would easily clear it then go to 305, but it was really heartbreaking that I failed 292. It might have been because of the warm up or a bunch of factors, but it was still really hard hitting. If I didn't get this world record, it would have felt like I wasted a lot of money, a lot of time, so I knew I had a win. I asked my friend Beck for some advice and he told me a couple of tips and I was going to try 292 for my third attempt and hopefully beat the world record. Although it wasn't the number I wanted to hit, 292 still beat the single bench AAU 16 to 17 148 world record. And I'll take that. Is it the overall world record? No. But I gave it my best shot. It was just an overall great experience. Meeting new friends. Oh, I'm not too close, not too close. <laughs> Improving my physique by a ton. This is when I started, and this is what I ended up. In my opinion, there's a pretty big change. It was, it was just really cool. I'm so glad that I got to experience that. And I could bulk now, so new video coming out soon. And hopefully next year I'll be competing in a USAPL, more professional organization, powerlifting meet. And maybe getting the record then. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
I know this video took a pretty long time to get out, but uh, yeah, today I started uh, finalizing the edit, and that was 4 p.m. Now it's 3:34 a.m., <laughs> so I'm a little tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.